Hi, great people. You are welcome back to Visi Court Fashion Now's channel. I'm Fola. We are grateful for as many that has uh, subscribed to this channel. But if you are yet to subscribe, do well to subscribe today. Thank you. Today we'll be learning how to how to make this um, overlap braid uh, top. We are actually making the bodies. You can use it to make your dress. So let's go. Here I have a basic uh, body pattern, but we are having five inches here. I measure five inches here. I measure five inches down here. I rule it. This is going to be the you know channel to create our overlap. We are using this to create the overlap. So we the shoulder length here is seven inches. That is a 14 divided by 2, give us a 7 inches. The chest line is 8 inches. We get it here, we get it here, 8 inches. We rule it horizontally. Then we measure our boss point, which is 10 inches. We are going to use the boss point to create our dart. So, boss point of uh, 10 inches. We get it here, we rule it. Then we have a waist line of a uh, 16.5 measure it and rule it so the remaining half inch is a joining allowance if you are joining this to the down part so uh, let's go then i've uh, um drawn out the our shoulder basic um, neckline which is a uh, three inches by three inches for the front cut on um, our hammer um, curve has been created here so by getting what we are having out after the shoulder slope we have seven inches we divide it by two give us a 3.5 on it we came in with a half an inch then we use our, and, uh, the bust we are the two we divide it by four give us eight inches we measure it then we connect with our French cuff to create our ammo cuff, just the way you see it. Okay. Let's quickly draft out our uh, that. Uh, the boss pan we are working with is a uh, seven inches. I divide it by two. It gives me three point five. I mark it a. So our boss pan of a. Uh, Seven inches, we divide it by two, give us 3.5, we get it here. We get it on the waistline as well, 3.5. We connect it with a straight ruler. So here we just step down with 1 to 1.5. Step down with 1.5 inches from the bust point. Then on your waistline, you come to the right to the left with half have an inch then you connect it so on the waist line now we get the waist the waist circumference we are working with is a 26 we divide 26 by um four it gives us a 6.5 so we measure 6.5 here we return this one inch Then we get our seam allowance of one inch. So on the chest line as well, we get seam allowance of one inch. We connect the um, bust to the waist. You connect your armor cuff, connect it proper. So for the overlap, um yeah. all we need to do is to take our straight ruler connect from this uh, from this uh, shoulder i mean the neckline we connect this uh, five inches that you have you know preserve a so for this uh, style we are not making use of the um basic uh, neckline because it's going to be free so i need to overlap so this is what we are making use of so 
assuming you are not i mean your kind of a dress is the one with shoulder you are good to cut out this this way but for the style the thumbnail we are working towards we have to you know draw out the shape of that uh, neckline that is just like a sweetheart so that is what we want to create now but if you are not going for that you are going to cut out yours this way so then every other thing will be taken care of so now to shape the neckline we are using for this our project now the first thing we are to get is to get the upper bust i mean the you get your upper bust where you want your upper bust to be you might decide to to use for this project we'll be using six inches as our upper bust line so i measure seven inches i mean six inches here let me use 5.5 i mark 5.5 so this is our upper chest line so i get this the boss i mean boss pan which is 3.5 i get it here i mark it then let me just connect it so the next thing i will consider is the underbust length so we need it to shape this uh, neckline so the underbust uh, length of this uh, of our client is uh, 13 inches this is 13 inches so which means our sweetheart's neck is coming to hit this uh, head so the next thing we have to do is to shape we want to shape our the neckline now so you place your cuff this way i'm trying to see the appropriate uh, you ensure it eats the hammer here. Then you take this this way. This one is coming to hit this uh, underbust length. Yes. So this is what we are tracing out now. So now we don't have any business with this. Uh, uh, this this yoke now for this uh, or what we are working towards so the next thing for us is to call it out now well as i told you earlier if you're if you're home if you are working towards the one with shoulder so you, you don't need to do all this you are going to cut it out the way we just the first minute So this is it. We we just go ahead and uh, close the dart. The next thing we want to do now is to begin to make use of a slash and spread now to do our break. So and to achieve that. We we'll target the boss boss points. So we are going to be drawing. It depends on how many pleats you want in your drape. For this project, I will be making use of just like four, three to four um, pleats. And to achieve that, I will now draw draw the line. You can make it straight. I want please so let me just share what I'm having here I have eight inches here so one two no. let me make use of 1.5 one two three this is number four I'll make it five so the first thing I will do is that I will cut off this uh, joining allowance. By the time you have cut out your fabric, mm -hmm. just be reminded that you need to add a joining allowance to your, to your bodies.
Let me use pencil first to draw out my line. Yes, I draw out a uh, five lines now. Let me just pack it out with marker. Let me use another the contrast marker too, so yes, you can see it clearly. Yes, if you like, you can still create another one here. So nothing spoiled. In this very place, you are good to create another one. The next thing we want to do is to slash it now. Yeah. So the next thing I want to do now is to grab the fresh paper and spread it. So for me to achieve what I'm aiming at very well, let me extend this my line very well. So ensure that you don't cut everything. So I'll just grab another paper and put it. And this accommodate it. So it depends on how big you want the clip to be. So for this project I'll make it two two inches. So I'll hold down. Then I measure what I'm having here. You can make it three inches if you like. I use two inches. I hold it down with a coffee spoon. You can use a masking tape to hold it down. I measure another two inches. So you'll be using two two inches interval to hold down your your pattern. I told you you can make uh, you can make just. Or you can make five, you can make up to six, depends on how you want it. So this is it. So this is what we are going to use to cut out new pattern now. So you can see the way it goes. It goes this way, this way, hit it again. So that is the way we are going to cut it out. But before then, we are going to hold the plate right on this pattern. We are going to hold the plate, then we lose it again. By the time we, we lose it, we see the, we see the outcome. So the two, two inches I've inserted in the slash, I will, be, I will hold it down now. I will see it just this way. You fold it, you hold it down. You fold the next one, you hold it down. Don't allow your folding to extend to this uh, upper part. The two two inches we, we inserted in our slash, when you fold it, it amounts to one. This is it. So, we want to cut out this place now. So, just watch the way I'm cutting. So now, before we cut the remaining, we are good to lose, lose it. Now we have achieved what we want to achieve. And this is what we we'll use and pleat. This is the way we are going to pleat our dress. So I will lose it now. So as for this place to relax, uh, to relax as I'm cutting it out. You can see the one I'm removing. The pin I'm removing is the pin on the pleat, not the previous one. I will cut out the 
Divino. So this is what we used to cut out our fabric now. So I will just go ahead and hire. So you have seen as it goes, that's how you will um, pleat your bodies. Let's iron this before we use it to cut out fabric. Now we want to use this to cut out our fabric. No. I'll be using this uh, fabric just for illustration. So in the thumbnail, the material they use there is a original taffeta. This is ordinary taffeta. So now we want to cut it out. Well, another thing I want you to take note is that this, as it is now, we are cutting it out on foot. So which means the, the, as it overlaps both or the one up and the down, we have this. So if you want the under one, the one under, we are good to cut one out even before you do a uh, slash and spread. So, but for this now, we are making two bolts, it's going to be draped. So, I will just add a half an inch joining allowance to the down parts. So, I'll see. So as it is, you will cut out a uh, lining. You can use uh, your pattern before you do the drip. You can use it for your lining. So now we want to pleat it now. I will first of all use a pin to hold it down. The way I'm holding it, as I'm holding it down, the down part is becoming too straight. So when you are holding yours, not take note of that. This is the last one. This is it. So we will do the second one the same way. Then I will go to the machine and stitch it down. Down here. You know, the seam allowance has been included. So you are good to have the other seam allowance. So let me just, I will do the second one the same way. Then I will go ahead and stitch it down. Then you are going to iron it so that all this will lay. Yes, here we have. You can see how it comes out nicely. So all you need to do as you are making your bodies is, you know, the your lining that has already been made. You um, insert this uh, regilibo or pillow knife to brace these uh, edges. For, to give it structure, so that is it. So and your beautiful overlapping gray dress will be ready. I'm sure you have really enjoyed this video. Drop your comment on the comment section. Share it with your friends and uh, like it. Ensure you like it. It means a lot to us. And uh, subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching. See you next time.